A very special morning indeed, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because it brings this man to South Africa, a man who we, we know what he looks like as we've watched him season in and season out on MasterChef Australia, and another very well-known local face who we see in season in, season out on MasterChef South Africa. Uh, ladies and gents and KFM listeners, please welcome up to the stage Matt Preston and Pete Goffwood. All right, this is amazing. Matt, fantastic to have you here, first of all. Welcome to Cape Town. Uh, I see you've had a really busy schedule since arriving in South Africa. I've done nothing but eat here. <laughs> <laughs> and drink and dance and then drink and eat some more. Yeah, I, I made a list. I was, uh, I was just discussing. I was di we did a dinner down at the, the dining room, which is next to the kitchen down in Woodstock last night. And I was listing where I've been. And I, <laughs> I got to eight places in 24 hours. And I thought, okay, this is getting a bit excessive. And I sat down and I went, oh. And then there was that, that was that bacon croissant Jason's and, <laughs> and, and, and then I went to Giovanni's last night and had coffee, yesterday afternoon we had coffee so yeah I'm, sm I'm smashing it in. If, you, if you come to a city that's the greatest coat town you don't want to miss things you yeah, know? Yeah. and there's so much to do um, and I've got a couple of friends here who are both in the food industry and they've, they've been giving me some great tips as well so I'm, I'm loving it. what an amazing city and isn't it incredible how much South Africans love A, love their food and B, love Master Chef Australia yeah but Cape Town's funny because I, I do, was up doing the good food and wine shop in Joburg and I was saying to Pete that in, up, up there everyone's like grabbing you and they're all like really ah! <laughs> and, and down here it's Cape Town well it's exactly like my, oh yeah hi <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a television I never vaguely know who you are <laughs> And, and then and then about and then about two hours later at the show they're like oh, I love the show and you know I'm on this piece on Masters of and, and you go okay you're just the same as us Melbourneans exactly the same we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna acknowledge we know you is that what we do until later in the day but it, but it's great and I think I think that's why so many Australians feel so at home here because yeah. that that kind of um, that kind of welcome is it's so warm and it's and it's such a surprise and and I'm sure when, when Pete's been to Australia. Um, he's, found, he's found the same thing, because you were there for the, the, the pizza challenge, weren't you? Yeah. yeah where, that's it. where you won, I where, believe. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I believe, yeah, yeah, yeah. best dessert pizza. Best dessert pizza, yes, yes. And we've seen Strangers the adverts thing. now, Pete. Uh, there's a season, a new season of MasterChef SA airing soon. It kicks off on the 21st of August in three weeks' time. Oh, and there's a new chef added to the lineup in the form of Ruben Riffle. Yeah, we've got Ruben, new judge, which is, which is great, new <laughs> dynamic. Uh, it's great to have him on board. It's, 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 it's our best work yet. Yeah. It's going to be a great series. It's going to be and really, really cool. I know that having known you for many years and chatting about the first season of MasterChef SA, where we were kind of comparing it and we always compare things to international yeah. products uh, I mean the MasterChef Australia series is a, such a well polished machine isn't it you look at that uh, and, you, and, and you see <laughs> <it>. not always <laughs> that, is, that is not always the case as, as Pete knows because Pete was out there when we, when we, when we were in, on the old, in the old spot and it was yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was kind of it was shiny on the front and it was Kosovo out the back <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's always the case. It's that, it's that sort of that's that swan scenario. Yeah. No one sees the swan. No one sees the frenetic paddling underneath. <laughs> as long as the chaos doesn't come onto television in your fight, you, know, you can get away with murder. Yeah. I love it. Well, listen, um, there's there's no take twos here because Dion Bing, our resident surf in charge, okay. has been doing the surf report in the Western Cape for about 105 years, uh, and yeah. he's brought a, a family recipe along. Uh, and and Dion, would you explain? Because we'd, we'd like. I know you guys get this a lot. You know, you have to look at a meal, try a meal. There's always some family member who stops you and says, "Would you try Auntie So and So's dish?" Yeah. and tell us how good it is. Uh, Dion's been preparing this for a couple of years and he's brought a part of the Ding, um, um, the Ding, the Dion Bing dynasty, yeah. uh, a, a awesome. family China way with as well. Dion, what have you prepared? So basically, when, we, when we're heading up the coast, I've got a, this big catering pan. You want enough energy for surfing, so we put a, <laughs> a toasted cheese and, and beef sandwich together. It's, it's really pretty filling. And then I've basted the, 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 um, the bread and, and like a, an egg and an IPA beer um, batter. And then we've got a beef jus on top of the, of the beef, which has been aged for, I don't know, it's been in the fridge for years. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly what age means. <laughs> and then, of course, I found the cheese moldy at the back of that vegetable tray as well. So we put it all together. I tasted it, and, and I'm feeling fine. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, well, listen, we're going to have a short break. Come back with some music. Matt Preston's here from MasterChef Australia in Cape Town. Pete Goffwood, they'll be back with more of the, uh, of the good stuff you want to hear. Matt's got a new book coming up. We're going to talk about that as well as the special tasting. Will they survive tasting Dion Bing's homemade sandwich?
nothing gets wasted in the KFM breakfast team. Whatever food's being prepared will get eaten by the rest of the breakfast gang, that's for sure. Mm. Uh, with two very special studio guests, uh, one who joins us from Australia uh, to come and ex- experience some of the beautiful city again, uh, Matt Preston, and of course our very own Pete Goff Wood, uh, who is uh, not, every time I bump into him, he's always being harassed by people asking them to try his delicious, or their delicious food rather, <laughs> uh, and a man who himself <laughs> puts together probably one of the meanest steak rolls, I think, in South Africa. Um, Thanks, the Kitchen Cowboys, let me tell you something, if I'm anywhere near a market and I know that the, the Kitchen Cowboys are there, and I noticed how Play Market has how you guys feature there now as well. Yeah, yeah, we're out at uh, Route 44 in Stellenbosch as well, yeah. so we're, we're getting it out there. We're t- spreading the love. I love it. It's possibly the most, as I mentioned, the, the tastiest steak roll you'll ever have. Uh, okay, so, so Dion Bing has prepared a sandwich, and he ran through what the contents of the sandwich were uh, mm-hmm. a little while back, and he's looking now confused, and almost he's forgotten. No, I, I just must say that it, it is, is an old age steak from the back of my fridge. It's a buddy of mine down here in Woodstock, because they would stab you with a butcher's knife yeah. if they heard me talking about their steak like that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so Matt, you and Pete um, can do the honours of, of tasting the sandwich and giving okay. Dion some some crit. All right, here we go. Oh, it's like it's like <laughs> French toast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man. It is. It's French toast. That, that is exactly so. But I, I don't think I, I don't think I don't think Tim Noakes will let me eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to I'll just have to peel away the the bread the and bread. just have the. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> We get to wash okay. it down with a beer. Yeah, with well, IPA. A, I hope it's cold at least. Well, it was cold, but it, yeah. Uh, okay. And that's is that your own ale that you make? Uh, well, we, we make it down the road, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Know, the beer's very good. <laughs> 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 One out of two, <laughs> Dion <laughs> Big. <laughs> Bada bing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm sure Tim wouldn't mind if we have a couple of slices of bread. It's that sort of that 80 20 rule that you've got to live by. All right. He's going for steak, steak, steak seconds. Steaks, steaks. Seconds, that's got to be a good sign if they're having more of it. Mm. That steak has um, been me... aged for months. <laughs> <laughs> i got to say, the two bravest, bravest <laughs> chefs we've had on the show, because the last uh, chef we had, Gordon Ramsay, took the meal he prepared and threw it to the, to the end, saying his dog wouldn't even eat it. Yeah. Yeah. It broke Dion's feelings, his heart. Yeah. He was shattered for about, yeah. a, about a, a day. It's, yeah, they're... they're... <laughs> It's a slightly different way of approaching Master Chef that yeah. Gordon Ramsay has yeah. to the other that, that's the other thing. Um, we we tend not want to do that because yeah. we think it's kind of disrespectful when someone cooks yeah. you something and makes the effort yes. yeah. and goes shopping and love it and you know travels. I don't know this bread, this is sourdough, yeah. Sourdough also from a friend of mine bakery. It, it tastes like it's 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 from the you know over the mountain. Yeah. I don't know. It's the water. <laughs> I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Do you know it's a good sandwich? I wouldn't I wouldn't give up the day job, but. Um, <laughs> But it's a damn fine sandwich. A nice sort of breakfast. Good way to start the day, I think. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the IPA. Good way to start the day if you want to maybe end up in bed for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but you know what? There, there, is a, there, is, there is, after too many porn star martinis, this, this has a whole nother, whole nother attraction, I have to say, this yeah. drink. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. So there's, there's a good, good positive feedback for your, for your creation. And then Claudia's here today. Claudia prepared this most amazing dish, uh-huh. which is a, a Malay curry, chicken curry. We've got to get this in before we get, we get queen, uh, to Queen, rather. I want to break free. Let's uh, get one of these dishes out. And, uh, <laughs> how, how, how very suitable that sound. After a good hot curry, one wants to break free. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Check it out. Oh, this looks good, huh? Nice bit of coriander. Oh, great flavour. Love the potato. Oh, lovely, huh? Compliments mm. from the word go. Yeah, it's mm. great. I'm sorry, Dion. Yeah. We should have had this first. <laughs> no, no, no. No, Dion's fine. No, we'll so it's best to last, always. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's great. Really okay. good. Nice flavours. Sweet. Lovely. A bit, a bit of heat on it. Mm. Um, chicken well-cooked potato. Absolutely spectacularly good. It's breaking down at the edge. Lovely. Very well nice. done, Claudia. Well done. Thank you. Thanks a million for to our, to our, our Master Chef uh, judges for for tasting the food as well because they must get that a heck of a lot. Uh, we're going to chat about, as I mentioned, Matt's book comes out 12th of August in South Africa. I want to chat about that book because I know you're going to want it on your shelf in your kitchen uh, as gifts heck, approaching Christmas. So we'll chat about Matt Preston's book. Uh, now let's take you back to the 80s with Queen and I want to break free. A big thanks to Claudia. You're a superstar. Radio Claudia. And Dion, you're not too shabby either. Yeah. What a song, Queen, I want to break free. Back to 84 uh, as we come to your live from my entertainment area with Matt Preston and Pete Goff Wood and uh, two absolute great super sports. Because I'll tell you why, they ate p- other people's food and they've got to do that a lot in both their respective competitions, one in South Africa and one in Australia. Uh, and besides doing that, they're actively involved with many other projects. I mean, Matt Preston, numerous books are ready to your name. Tell us about the new books South Africans can expect on the 12th of October. Wow, you've got a date. You're very professional. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just thinking, I guess, sometime before Christmas. Conven- <laughs> conveniently sometime before Christmas. Um, third third in the trilogy, 80 pages longer than the last one. It's called Cookbook because I'm. A, it's a book and I'm a cook. Um, <laughs> Uh-huh. And I, I kind of got to that point where I was trying to think of all these smart ass long titles. All my <laughs> books have got those kind of um, those kind of very old titles. Um, it's inspired by a book that one of my uh, ancestors um, wrote in 1864, which is called Hosting Guests. So it's a bit about entertaining, and really it's just more of that kind of cheats and hacks type, really simple dishes. I think I think the, the difference, and, and, and Pete will have found this now that he's doing the, the the roles. But as a chef, you you search for perfection in the most complicated manner po- possible, and as a home cook, you search for really good food as simply as possible. And so the idea is to you know, there's no immersion circulator, no blast chiller. It's a it's basically a pot, a pan, a knife, ingredients you can find from the supermarket, and hopefully delicious food inspired by you know my travels and and just by what I like to eat. Stunning. The other two books have been an absolute success. So ladies and gents listening, it's a must have for your collection of books at home. As Matt rightly pointed out, it's something for everybody. <laughs> um, so go and buy it. 12th of October, it hits the shelves and hopefully we'll speak to some of the uh, the publishers beforehand and get it. maybe a sneak peek of that book uh, so we can offer it to you if you're listening to us right now. Uh, ladies and gents, I've got to say as well that this man's known for what Matt Preston that is for wearing his cravats, as we all know. Uh, so the KFM Breakfast Team thought, what do we give a man that's got it all? Well, I can guarantee you he doesn't have have this one. So, Matt Preston, on behalf of everyone listening in the Western Cape and the KFM Breakfast team, I'd like oh, to give you a little oh gift. A little oh, gift. I like it too. KFM cravat. No, no. No. Oh. 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 oh it's, I, and you know it's a good present when it's got tissue around it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, you must give you, you must give your partner a beautiful because it comes in a box as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we all know if it's in wrapped in tissue in a shiny bag with a box and then it opens up and there's oh. 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 Oh, that yes, is that indeed. is so cool! I love it. Oh, yes. It's 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 a it's the, the respectfully the South African flag made into a cravat. Yes. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I love beautiful. it. I Excellent. love it. I love it. We, 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 we did have a slightly bad moment when um, no one noticed that the Indian flag was upside down. <laughs> um, so I, I think you maybe you're making a bit of a comment here, but I'm assuming that it's worn the normal way up. It is. Um, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Absolute indeed. pleasure. That's a beautiful. Moment. I do I do have I do have a. The only other one I've got like this is I've got a Tasmanian one, which is, um, but there's a weird thing in Australia about having a map of Tassie on your neck. <laughs> it brings out the devil in you. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this time's been unbelievable. He really is. And you know what the nicest thing, I've got to say this, because we, we're big rivals on the sporting front. As you know, as South Africans, when we take on either the Kiwis or the Aussies, we, we're, we're fiercely competitive against them. Uh, but having visited both countries and having had them in this country and having to work with one every morning on my breakfast show, an Australian, <laughs> i got to say they're absolutely great people. Uh, the Aussies, phenomenal sense of humor and really down to earth folks. And uh, it is an absolute pleasure to have him in the Western Cape and more importantly on Cape and Breakfast. A huge thanks to Matt Preston. I still, sorry, to butt in, I still reckon we need to have a, a, a Tri Nations uh, yeah, of cooking. Yeah, the blend of food. Yeah, 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 Tri Nations. I'm just going to say right now, with the contestants who got the new season, you guys are going down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and, I can, and I can tell you right now, the New Zealanders wouldn't even stand up. I know. But, but you know, that'd be good. We could all agree to beat something. We, yeah. we could all agree to beat New Zealand. Which yeah, is yeah, fair. Correct. Yeah, well, I'll, say, I'll, I'll tell you what, there'd be no lamb dishes with those New Zealand blokes. Yeah. Huh? Be, <laughs> the lamb would go missing. Why don't we take five, five South Africans, five Australians, and five Kiwis? Yeah. And yeah. we rotate them around the three countries with a judge from each country. Phenomenal idea. Yeah, no, 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 no. We want to come and film here. Forget coming to Australia. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's about. It's about March, April. We're in Cape Town for a couple of months. I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, can live with that. Yeah. Great I, idea. I can live with that. Not the worst idea in the world. That is a stunning idea. Pete Goffwood as well from MasterChef South Africa. Huge thanks, Matt Preston, Pete Goffwood, Goffwood legends. Thank you for joining us.